issues with self-worth, self-esteem. Well, the fortune reversed. That could have been what was holding somebody back is their lack of courage or confidence in the past. That could have been what was holding them back from love or true love or somebody that they truly genuinely had um, true feelings for and wanted a life with. They could have settled with somebody. This could be this karmic family we just went over that they've been settling with because there was something about an affair of cheating. Swords. Yeah, somebody's purposely trying to mess with your self-worth, self-esteem, so you don't move on. I feel like you already know that, though, or sense that with this clairvoyance energy, you see clearly. Whatever this air magic is, some man sees this, somebody sees this or knows this. You guys could be using some kind of incense. Seven of coins reverse. They trying to distract you before some kind of date night or Valentine's Day. It's not working. These people need to just give it up. Yeah, they're doing this to hold and cling on to you guys. They're purposely trying to F it up, as I just heard. Eight of Swords, yeah, see? They're trying to have you in the Eight of Swords. They're purposely trying to um, get in your head or cuss you out or say something to you or some kind of air magic or mental magic. Two of Swords reversed, yeah. What else? Issues with self-worth, self-esteem. This karmic, whoever this is definitely has, whoever's doing this definitely has serious self, self-worth issues or self-esteem issues. Strength, good. You're real strong and confident. Your courage is, is good or it's, it's getting better. This person knows this. This is why they're trying to ruin it. Queen of Pentacles. They could be doing this over a female, vice versa. This could be a woman doing this. They're trying to distract you from somebody else. I feel like they're trying to distract you from a divine feminine. They're trying to purposely ruin confidence. They're trying to come in between the love. It's not going to work. It's going to be unsuccessful. See, four of wands are trying to ruin some kind of milestone holiday or date or Valentine's Day. Four of wands. This could be a celebration or a birthday. Anniversary, wedding, something they're trying to ruin. I feel like it's Valentine's Day. Let's see some box of chocolate, a heart-shaped box of chocolate. King of Swords reversed. Some of y'all, some of y'all, excuse me, this could be a man, some of you guys doing this. This could be a man that you guys cut off or something like that. Some of y'all, a man is um, bitter, trying to ruin something with you or sabotage something for you or your self-worth. What else issues with self-worth or self-esteem? Yes. Yeah, they have whoever this is is this could be somebody narcissistic. They could be feeling insecure because um something with your confidence, self-esteem, you're working on yourself. You're leveling up. You have good you have good um confidence and stuff like that. You're brave, courageous. Show me this king of swords reverse. This person could have been, 
yeah they could have been verbally abusing you or something or trying to um, brainwash you this is a narcissist narcissist you guys could be on a honeymoon this could be the four of wands a honeymoon for some of y'all honeymoon phase or attending someone's wedding maybe this is just the early stages of a relationship this could be a narcissist that's trying to hold on to you guys what else is this narcissist trying to do in the eight of swords messenger some of you guys are going to receive communication from a narcissist some kind of message possibly messenger lord they could be trying to block out another person or another man Thief reversed. They're trying to ruin something. Some kind of fun or date or honeymoon. Some of you guys, this could be um, a couple or two people that live together. feels like they're trying to ruin like a big day or, or something like that yeah despair they are in despair and they want you in despair some narcissists is this a man trying to ruin somebody's date or valentine's day or something yeah they need to move on Wow. King of Swords. Some narcissistic man is trying to ruin things between you guys. You guys see all this or know about this. They could have messaged you. Somebody messaged somebody recently. Something about a Super Bowl. Something with some sports I'm seeing. They could have messaged you during the Super Bowl. You didn't answer or something like that. They're mad you didn't answer their message on Super Bowl or something. This could have been a um, feminine energy too. You didn't talk to somebody or you didn't respond to somebody, somebody's message. Whoever that is is trying to ruin some something for you guys, something fun. Ten of coins reverse, devil. Yeah, these past people, whoever this is, some of y'all this is family. Whoever these people are, are tripping and stressed out in bad health. They're real restless. They want control over your self-worth and stuff, your self-esteem. Tell me more about a message. Yeah, they, they're trying to message you somehow. Something about the Super Bowl. They're trying to be slick, deceptive and stuff. They could have used, if this is somebody you haven't spoken to in a long time, they could have used a Super Bowl or something like that as an excuse to slide back in or something. Yeah, they was trying to use it as an excuse to scramble their little way back in or, yeah, Five of Cups. This person, they ran in with some kind of message. They're stressing. You cut these people off and decided to move on. They wasn't serving purpose or something. That could be somebody's ex or some past person, past friends trying to ruin your guys' connection or union or some event, milestone wedding or a date, Valentine's Day. They're in despair because you ended something out or you changed or you're going through a major life change. You're being a lot more secretive. Yeah, this is them. Whoever this King of Swords, whoever these people are, they're over there doing some kind of uh, manipulation or trying to trick you or uh, do dark magic to make you insecure. Yeah, see, they're in the Nine of Swords and the Five of Coins. You abandoned them, neglected them. They're trying to find a way to send that energy to you somehow. 
eighth house. This is, see, this is his eighth house energy that keeps coming out. They're doing this dark stuff, like dark, sneaky stuff to try to ruin your confidence. Show me this four of wands. Devil reverse. King of Swords reverse. They could be one in revenge. That could be somebody's ex, a karmic masculine ex or ex friend. Six. He needs to move on. He's trying to ruin your guys' Ten of Pentacles. Could be trying to ruin your marriage. Nine of Cups. You guys could be happily married is what it feels like. Or you're just happily together, living together or building together. Your guys' work could be good. Business is good. Found Everything's good. Foundation is good. Real estate, everything is good. You're stable. You're building, growing, wealthy, generational wealth. Someone's tripping. He's trying to find any little way. I just heard fatty. This person could be overweight or fat. This man could be fat or something like that. I heard fatty. Apology. Overload. They could, they could carry a lot of baggage or be very overweight. Relaxation. He's studying something. Whoever that karmic is, they're studying something. They're studying something or reading something. They want revenge. They don't want y'all being happy. They want revenge because you guys are having some kind of success in your guys' love life. Is this narcissist, karmic, masculine trying to hurt somebody's self-esteem or self-worth right now? They're trying to distract you from a feminine energy or a female. This feels like it could be somebody's friend or something. You guys could be healing a connection. Some kind of hope. You guys could be um, by water or live, live near water. Self-esteem. Issues with self-esteem, self-worth. Karmic masculine narcissist. Oh. They have some kind of sad news or they found out about some kind of sad news. Something sad. They're trying to send that off to you guys and knock you guys off balance. See, they're trying to send their gloomy thoughts onto you guys somehow. They're ill. This karmic masculine person is ill. Illness. They're sick. They're literally sick over you guys right now. Some of y'all, there's going to be an apology. Karmic male that's trying to hurt somebody's self-esteem, confidence, so that they don't have success in love. Four of Cups, this person could be depressed. You've been rejecting them, ignoring their messages. You possibly didn't hang out with this person recently or something with the Super Bowl or you didn't answer their messages on the Super Bowl. Um, illness. Yeah, he's sick. You got him blocked out because he's not in the right. He's he's not in the right mindset. Nobody in their right mind would be doing shit like this. Two of Pentacles. This could be two people doing this. Chariot Reverse. Yeah, I keep hearing. Did you block me? I'm trying to figure out if you blocked them. If you block their number or something like that. They feel like they don't have any control. They're, they've lost all control. They're sick. They need to be in a mental facility or something. Yeah. Whatever they did recently is not going to work out. They need to move on. 